Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube, and I also stream on YouTube too. Well, the day has come where I finally have a chance to showcase the Architect Pack. If you know about this mod, you know for a fact it's one of the leading mods on Don't Starve Together because it contains literally everything that has ever existed for Don't Starve. When I talk about that, I'm talking about placing items down. Obviously, it doesn't contain any of, you know, you can't play Hamlet, you can't play Shipwrecked and stuff like that. But what I'm referring to is if you've ever wanted your base to look amazing and turn it into something that looks like you're playing Shipwrecked or looks like you're playing Hamlet, this mod is literally for you. It was such a large mod that literally it was put on the Nexus uh, mods on uh, line because of how large it was until finally steam decided to lift their restrictions on how big the mods could be for don't starve together and now thankfully uh the mod is now available directly on the mod workshop so let's go ahead and showcase how it is this is a very large mod so when you do load up don't starve together for the first time with it you probably might say to yourself man it takes a little bit to load in but trust me it's completely worth it I've been searching for a mod like this for a long time, and I've been using it for a while as well. The bonus behind this mod is it literally gives you everything you've always wanted and more when it comes to actually making your mega base become something. So obviously, if you're just looking to just play DST and you don't care about what things look like, you just want to play the game, probably not necessarily a mod for yourself to use because it does contain a lot of extras that come you know, with it as well. For example, things would essentially be added into the game that you know you might not actually want to have for example when you kill certain bosses um you get extra little blueprints that in turn let you craft things in the game um you can have specific birds that spawn in which are similar to hamlet and the ones in shipwrecked as well which is pretty awesome so there's a lot of different bonuses that come along with it so that being said, let's go ahead and showcase all the cool things that you can do. Now, the bonus about this mod was something that Clay recently added in. I don't know if it had anything relatable to it, but it was pretty cool. And that's the new UI mod for Don't Starve Together. So if you're used to the new UI already, well, you're going to get ready for the architect pack, which is going to contain some pretty awesome stuff. So just to showcase a few things that you can do with this mod, I'm going to go through them and... and Pretty much go as fast as i can so first let's equip our minor hat so we're ready to go for the night time let's go ahead and give ourselves creative mode and here we go so as soon as we go open this up you're going to see multiple new tabs which are now amazing because of the new ui system before you had to scroll 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 and now with the new ui system that clay has came up with us the architect pack works really really well with it you can start out by kind of going through each individual tabs. You might see some things that you're not familiar with. For example, there is a uh, frozen furnace, which lets you cool off next to things. Um, and of course, you're able to kind of go through each tab. For example, Hamlet structures, shipwreck structures, surface structures, cave structures, the forge structures, gorge structures, interior uh, structures, legacy structures, and supplementary turfs, and then more and more and more and more. And of course, you find more things as time goes on, depending on what you're really looking for. So for example, if I wanted my base to look pretty and kind of similar to Hamlet, I could go down and place a few things and start placing some walls down that looked like Hamlet walls. Um, if I wanted to go and place down... Um, uh, let's see, like an actual tree from Hamlet. Of course, I can go ahead and do that. So this mod gives you everything and anything that you've always wanted to see. But the thing is that it also makes it kind of realistic to be able to get it. So for example, if I want to actually craft something, it's not at the cost of pretty much nothing. You have to literally find things in order to craft it. So for example, if I want to craft, um, if I want to craft a, uh, what's some, what's a good example here? Um, if I want to craft, you know, something that's more complicated, uh, for example, like, a, you know, one of the ruined sugar trees, you, you require rot, plus you require some logs. So that's not too, too crazy. But if you want to craft something that's a little bit more in depth, uh, like an obsidian, like boulder, it requires you to get a red gem and some rock. So a little bit more, uh, intricacy is needed in order to craft things of obviously like higher value. So yeah, so just something to kind of look forward to. Um, obviously, you know, if you want to place like a blue whale in the world, you have to make sure that <laughs> you're actually are near an area that you can so let's go ahead and place a boat just so i can showcase this because this is something that i actually haven't had a chance to actually 
uh, try putting down. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and put this little whale down. I want to see what it looks like when I finally get a chance to place it down. Get to place it close to the boat. Oh, maybe it's not going to let me. There it goes. So now the whale's on here. And you can attack it. Nothing will happen. I don't believe it's going to like do anything when it dies. But let's just see what happens. It does. It drops some fish. So nonetheless, there's like a lot of cool, th interesting things that you can use with this architect pack. The, you know, the best part about it for me is the amount of turf that you can actually craft with it. And the fact that you can basically take furniture that is meant for a hamlet house and pretty much use it wherever you want so if you want to get some carpeting go ahead and get some carpeting you know the world is yours to do with with it with what you will but look at all the awesome stuff that is now added to this so if you want to make your mega base spice it up and make it look awesome feel free to check this mod out because i'm telling you you're not going to be disappointed um this mod is probably you know, the only mod that really offers everything all in one and it runs really well. Uh, the bonus is that the mod creator is very active when it comes to fixing the mod and making sure that it's working the way it's supposed to. The other day I ran into a little bug with it and it instantly got fixed within like an hour. So huge shout out to uh, Canucks for the uh, awesome mod. And yeah, go ahead and check it out. I'll post the uh, the mod description uh, mod in the description down below if you want to check it out. I will see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.